Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwightman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to transfer files between your Android phone and your Mac using Nearby Share. So as you might be aware, the official Nearby Share only allows you to transfer files between two Android phone or between an Android phone and a Windows PC. You will not be able to transfer files between an Android phone or an, and an Apple MacBook or an iMac using Nearby Share. But, but I found a nifty workaround an open source tool using which you could easily get this job done. In other words, using this tool, you could easily transfer any file from your Android phone over to your Mac using nearby share. The only requirement is that both your Mac and your Android phone should be on the same Wi-Fi network. So you might ask that there exists quite a few third-party apps that could get this job done. So why you should we should opt for this tool? Well, I am using this tool because it's an open source tool and we could get hold of all the changelog codes and app files directly from GitHub. If you have any queries, you could directly refer to all these files and verify it yourself. On the other hand, most of the other tools are not open source and then therefore we don't have much idea regarding what is going in the back end. Moreover, the only requirement of this tool is that both your PC and your Android phone should be on the same Wi-Fi network. Apart from that, there is no other requirement. Apart from that, if we talk about official tool, then there exists an Android file transfer. This tool is made by Google, but this tool requires a USB cable and in my case, it hardly works out of 10 times, it will only work once or twice. So I have a very poor experience with this tool and also it requires a, a USB cable. You cannot transfer it wirelessly. So as of now, this is the only tool for me, which check marks all my requirement. It's an open source tool and we could easily transfer via the Wi-Fi and nearby share. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to download the nearby drop app from the GitHub. So go to my link I've given in the guide and then go to the GitHub page, then go to the release section and from here, download the near drop dot app dot zip file. The zip file will not be downloaded. So go to the finder window, go to downloads folder and extract the zip file. So let's extract it. Upon extraction, you'll get the app. So just copy this app and simply paste it in the application folders. So let me paste it here. Now right click on this app and select open. You will get a warning message. So just click on OK. Once again, right click on the app and select open. This time you will get the option to open the app. So click on open. And as you could see, the nearby app is now up and running on our phone. You will now have to enable the notification for this app as well. So for that, go to the settings menu, system settings. From there, you have to go to the notification section. And from notification, you have to select the near drop app. And from there, enable the notification next to allow notification for the near drop app. If you don't enable this notification, then if you transfer any file from your Android phone over to your Mac, then your Mac will not be able to read or notify you that the file is being received and we will not be able to access any file. So please make sure to enable the toggle so that you could then hit the accept button and download the file on your Mac. So once you have enabled this notification, just once again verify that both your Mac and your Android are on the same Wi-Fi network. And once that is done, let's get started. So let's not transfer the file onto our phone. So as of now, I'm using, let me transfer an image file. So I'm using the Google Photos app and let's select an image. Then from the Google Photos app, go to the share icon, then go to more and select nearby share. You, your Mac should not be visible here. As you could see, just select your Mac and you will now get a prompt on your Mac. The prompt will not appear if any screen recording is open. So let me now close the screen recording and then I'll show you. Guys, as you could see, I've just got a notification on my phone. So click on the option button and from here click on accept and the file will now be received onto our phone, onto our Mac and you could verify the same from Mac as well. So as you could see on my Android phone, I have now got the file. So guys, as you could verify from my phone, it's showing that the transfer is now complete and the file should now be placed in the downloads folder in the finder window. So let's go to the download folder and as you could see, this is the screenshot which I have transferred via the nearby share let's now open and check the file so as you could see it's the same file which i have transferred on via the nearby share file as you can see from here so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching